my boys I know this is gonna be hard to take and this is gonna be something different in terms of how I'm looking at a deck this is the first time I've ever played a deck didn't like it and was dedicated to making it work the new noble knight structure deck has come out and um real talk i i kind of don't like it i really don't like it i don't think it's the best deck i don't think it is a um, 100 percent worth your time my boy but there is some spicy combos and things you can do i managed to clap out of the madman hellscape known as platinum i freed myself from that animal planet and now I am in legend and we even defeated some current band decks my boy so my boys join in watch this video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and we're gonna be getting right in there with a tale of the noble knights YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you Support the channel directly by becoming a member. All right, my boys, we're here in Legend Rank 1 with the Noble Knights, the super equipped deck. And my boys, I'm telling you right now, it is not the kind of deck that you are expecting. So many people have told me, you know, what type of cards I should be playing and things like that. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, this deck um, has some decent combos and also has some pretty good cards. But a, a lot of cards in the structure deck are kind of, you know, lackluster. I would say the best card in the structure deck is flat out Merlin. And Merlin is the mainstay card. Merlin is the, the magic maker. He's the magic man. But I had to run additional cards to make this deck work because it just has too many flaws. There's too many holes, too many ways to stop the deck. So I put in a lot of different countermeasures. I played it on Destiny Draw, and I'm using tons of support. So let's just jump into the deck list, my boy. I want to talk about this card until Noble Arms are needed again. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a decent card. I've seen people use this card to pick up Silent Swordsman or Special Summon another monster for game, blah, blah, blah. But if you're able to use until noble arms are needed again to attack for game, you are already winning the duel, okay? So this is a win more card. And I really think that on top of everything else, you know, if anything, you're gonna play this at one. So if you really are adamant about playing this card, play it at one. But I personally don't think it's worth it because you will die with this card in your hand or on the field. And I just don't think it's a worthwhile card. I mean, I've played it, I've tried it out, and um, I literally lost because of this card. So I don't like this card at all. Before you even tell me in the comments, it's so good. Play it, boy, play it. No, not doing it, it's ass. Now, I'm gonna talk about Merlin and why it's important to kind of build your deck around Merlin. And if you don't build your deck around Merlin, then, you know, this deck just doesn't function. Merlin gives you the ability to exceed summon from the graveyard. You know, originally um, I was running, you know, three Merlin and three uh, Madrot, but three Madrot just does not work. Um, and we're also just gonna run three Merlin because you wanna see the Merlin more than anything. So I don't run anything at three unless I wanna see it on the first turn. And that's why we're running three Merlin. It's the only card that we run of three in the deck. And I do see it more often than any other card. Maybe for that reason, who knows? I don't know. Um, additionally, Merlin is gonna set you up for a very good OTK. If you have a free shot at the life points, that means you're gonna be able to attack with Madrot, exceed summon in the graveyard, and then bring out um, your sacred noble knight, Autortigus. But even if you're able to do all that, right? You know, sometimes you just can't win. So what I found is, Ties of the Brethren, bringing this card back from the old style that we used to play this deck is one of the best cards you can use because on the first turn or any turn, you can use Ties of the Brethren and bring out Madrat, bring out Dryston, and bring out Bed Bedwin. So you have, you have two combos, you have two main combos. You're either using Merlin or you're using Ties. Either way, 
you have a competitive combo what's the competitive combo with ties you're going to be able to have Dryson on the field and move an equip spell and once Dryson is equipped you can destroy a face up card which is great you can uh because you're going to use a bedwin's effect now bedwin also has a good effect he can throw a equip spell from the deck into the graveyard which is pretty cool because you can use these cards later on to exceed and then bring those equips back and then also um if you know you get if if you play the dryson combo and you and you um use your ties of the brethren you have your field of three monsters after you have those three monsters on the board you can then you know after you've survived for an entire turn by using uh the dryson combo you can exceed into your level rank four Atorgus king of the noble knights destroy some back row and then go in and attack for game because you'll have two monsters and this guy will be really big so basically i'm running it with destiny draw to to combine my to combine the efforts of running with tides of the brethren every time i use tides of the brethren with destiny draw i always go and get forbidden lance it's literally the same kind of strategy that i've been using recently with the triple d you know uh destiny draw into forbidden lance lance to protect when i go in for game and I also run ultimate providence now ultimate providence is a really good card in this deck because you're going to need some protection and you need universal protection that's going to work every time you set a card ultimate providence is that card you're stopping a spell or a monster effect period that's all you stopping you're not stopping nothing else you might stop a trap if you're bricked up and you have two ultimate providence in your hand that's just a sad day but real talk you're always going to have a monster negate or spell negate so think about that you set your field up with the dryston tides of the brethren combo and set providence and pass you have a spell negate or a monster negate and a monster destruction in your opponent's turn tides of the brethren destiny draw next turn or you have merlin on the first turn and you set your board up and you have exceeds from the graveyard with um the otk potential with a providence set so either way you go providence is the best card to run in this deck ties of the brethren merlin get at me i'm out of i'm out of platinum hell because of this deck this deck flows it claps better than the balanced version that i built and um yeah man fuck noble knights <laughs> i really don't like the deck it's too many holes and it's too many weaknesses it's too many ways that your opponent can get in and usurp your combos so at the end of the day my boys i would say this deck is not 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 worth it until the 15th because right now because of all the stuff that's still not banned it makes it really hard and you're gonna see how much this deck struggles against a top tier deck but once the 15th comes and everything kind of balanced out this deck will probably clap so enjoy the rest of the video my boys i hope that this was helpful and you know figuring out you know this deck for you um but you know enjoy the rest of the video and as always keep it yeah.
go. I'm out of platinum hell. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> so cheesy, dog. Honestly. Polarization. Oh, is this a uh, lunar light or something? Or is it heroes? Like, what the fuck? Probably on first turn. Is it dangerous? Why, I haven't seen dangerous in the eyes. Okay. Darkwing Duck. Favorite hero. spells you're gonna have. I don't think it's gonna be anything that's gonna affect you too much. We could do Tides of the Brethren, but nah. I got Merlin now. Alright. Just gonna draw it. Here's the boy. I wonder what field spell he has, like that he's gonna add. Cause he's definitely gonna add something, you know. I just wonder what it is. Uh, I wish I had the boost, so I could kind of bait it out. But, uh, I don't. So, let's hit it. too much. Says if you catch one card and target one other monster on the field and destroy that target, so let's blow him up. Die. Nice. Put the 37. Alright. Here we go, boys. Top deck mode. I think he's playing Bring It, so he's dead. He's gone. See you later. I be the same. Omega oof. Get out of here. Be gone, clownfish. Oh, reinforcements. I'm sorry. Stratos. Okay. Plug it down. Stratos. Right, Stratos alone can't save you, though. No, you can't. That's a deep. Have a nice. Ah. <sighs> Well, I'm glad I'm done with this deck. Um, probably never gonna play it again. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> Finally out of Animal Planet, my boys. Finally out of Animal Planet. All right, my boys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all. Uh, make sure you click the link in the description. Support your boy. You know, anytime you purchase something from Amazon, it really helps out if you use my link in the description. Literally costs you nothing, but can help support this channel directly. So please use the link in the description. Add it to your favorites, my boy. 
and um, use the link in the description also to uh, get a copy of this deck. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. But as always, keep it day. Mm -hmm.